The King James Bible, the first book of Moses called Genesis, chapter 24. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said unto his eldest servant of his house that ruled over all that he had, Put, I pray thee, thy hand under the, my thigh, and I will make thee swear by the Lord of God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me in, unto this land. Must I needs bring thy son again unto the land from whence thou camest? And Abraham said unto him, Beware that thou bring my son thither again. The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house, and from the land of my kindred, and which spake unto me, and that sware unto me, saying, Unto thy seed I will give you this land. He shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son of th from thence. And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, then thou shalt be clear from this my oath, only bring not my son thither again. And the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham's master, and swear him concerning the matter. And the servant took ten camels of the camels of his master, and departed, for all the goods of his master were in his hand. And he rose and went to Mesopotamia, unto the city of Nahor. And he made his camels to kneel down without the city by a well of water, at the time of the evening, even the time that women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me good speed this day, and shew kindness unto my master Abraham. Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and, and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. And it come to pass that the damsel of whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for my son servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou hast shewed kindness unto my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well, and filled her pitcher, and came up. And the servant ran to meet her, and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher. And she said, Drink, my lord. And she hastened, and let down her pitcher upon her hand to give him drink. And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also, until they have done drinking. And she hastened, and emptied her pitcher into the trough, and ran again to the well to draw water, and drew for all his camels. And the man, wondering at her, held his peace, to wit whether the Lord had made his journey prosperous or not. And it came to pass, as the camels were done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands of ten shekels weight of gold, and said, Whose daughter art thou? Tell me, I pray thee, is there room in thy father's house for us to lodge in? And she said unto him, I am the daughter of Bethel, the son of Milcah, which she bare unto Nahor. She said, Moreover unto him, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. And the man bowed down his head and worshipped the Lord. He said, and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of my master Abraham, who hath not left destitute my master of his mercy and his truth. I, being in the way, the Lord led me to the house of my master's brethren. And the damsel ran and told them of her mother's house these things. And Rebekah had a brother, and his name was Laban. And Laban ran out to the man unto the well. And it came to pass, when he saw the earring and bracelet upon his sister's hands, and when he had heard the words that Rebekah his sister saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto the man, and behold, he stood by the camels at the well. And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord. Wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. And the man came unto the house, and he ungirded his camels, 
and gave straw and provender for the camels and water to wash his feet and the man's feet that were with him. And there was set meat before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, Speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant, and the Lord hath blessed my master greatly, and he is become great. And he hath given him flocks and herds and silver and gold, and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses. And Sarah, my master's wife, bare a son to my master when she was old, unto him hath he given all he hath. And my master made me swearing, saying, Thou shalt take a wife of thy son of the daughters of the Canaanites in those land I dwell, but shall go unto my father's house and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son. And I said unto my master, Peradventure, the woman I will not, f the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee, and prosper thy way. And thou shalt take a wife for my son of my kindred, and of my father's house. Then shalt, shalt thou be clear from this my oath when thou comest to my kindred, and if they give thee not one, thou shalt be clear from my oath. And I came this day unto the well, and said, O Lord God my master, Abraham, if I know thou do prosper my way which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass, that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. And she will say to me, Both drink thou, and I will also draw for thy camels. Let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed out of my master's son. And before I had done speaking with my heart, behold, Rebekah come forth with her pitcher on her shoulder, and she went down unto the well and drew water. And I said unto her, let me drink, I pray thee. And she made haste, and let down her pitcher from her shoulder, and said, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. So I drank, and I made the camels drink also. And I asked her, and said, Whose daughter art thou? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bare unto him. And I put the earring upon her face, and the bracelets upon her hands. And I bowed down my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord God, my master, Abraham, which had led me in the right way to take my brother's, to take my master's brother's daughter unto his son. And now, if ye will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, and if not, tell me that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethel answered and said, The thing proceedeth from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go, and let her be thy master's son's wife, as the Lord hath spoken. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave her brother and to her mother precious things. And they did eat and drink, and he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose in the morning, and he said, Send me away unto my master. And her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at the least ten, after that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord, he prospered my way. Send me away, that I might go to my master. And it said, We will call the damsel, and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah, and said under hill, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and their nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah, and said unto her, Thou art our sister. Be thou the mother of thousands of men, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And Rebekah arose, and her damsels, and they ro rode upon the camels, and followed the men. And the servant took Rebekah, and went his way. And Isaac came from the way of the well Lahani Roy, for he dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide, and he lifted up his eyes and saw, behold, the camels were coming. And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. For she had said to unto the servant, Which is this man that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, 
It is my master, before she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her, and Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Chapter 25 Then again Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah, and she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Ashurim, and Letsushim, and Lumen, and the sons of Midian, Epath, and Ephor, and Hanok, and Abadah, and Eldah, and these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days and the years of Abraham's life which he lived, a hundred threescore and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of Ipron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre. The field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth, there was Abraham buried, and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass after the death of, death of Abraham that God hath blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well Lethai Roy. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abram's son, from Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names, according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nabotjah, and Kedar, and Abdil, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Massa, Hadar, and Tema, Jetar, Napish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their, by their towns and by their castles, twelve princes among to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, a hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died, and gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, then that is before Egypt, and thou goest toward Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generation of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham's begat Isaac. And Isaac was forty years old, and he took Rebekah to his wife, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian Padanaram, the sister of Laban the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when the, her days were delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she, she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was cu a cunning hunter and a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came in from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall the, this birthright do me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up, and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright.